Hello, everybody. My name is Ron Hazel, a member of the Canadian Society of Painters and Watercolor. And I'd like you to, to tell you about a workshop that's coming up in January that I'll be giving on painting streetscapes. And the workshop is going to consist of two sessions, one on Saturday, January the 23rd, from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Eastern Time, or 12 noon to 2 p.m. Atlantic Time. And the second session is a week later, Saturday, January 30th, again from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and 12 noon until 2 p.m. Atlantic Time. Now, this workshop is going to look at uh, streetscapes in uh, one point perspective, which will be the first session, and two point perspective, which will be the second session. And I have in front of me a uh, reproduction of a painting that I did some years ago. And uh, we won't be doing this particular painting, but I just want to point out a few things that we will be discussing in the workshop. One of the problems of painting streetscapes is uh, it looks very, very complicated when you go down the street and you see all these buildings, houses, people, traffic, lampposts, et cetera, et cetera. And it's a bit overwhelming. So as with most painting subjects, the key is to simplify. And we could simplify most streetscapes into four basic shapes. And just looking at this reproduction, I'll just point out the four basic shapes, one of which is the sky, okay? That's one shape. The second shape are all the horizontal shapes. In other words, the sidewalks and the pavement. And it takes up a fairly large portion of the painting, as you can see. All of this is one shape, all the horizontal shapes. Yes, there's some detail within the shape, but essentially it's one big shape. Now the other two shapes are the vertical shapes. For example, on the left-hand side, we have the vertical sides of the buildings that are parallel to the street and perpendicular to the street. But those constitute one big shape, as we see here. And again, yes, there's some detail within that shape, but it's one big shape. Now the fourth shape is the other vertical shape on the right-hand side happens to be made up of some pillars and a fence, a wall and some trees and some buildings off in the distance. But essentially it's one big shape. But again, there's detail within the shape. So applying the principles of linear perspective, we can establish those shapes quite easily once we have located the, the single vanishing point for the painting. And as you'll see in the second session, once we have the vanishing points located for the big shapes in two-point perspective, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Now we'll also be seeing of how to place people and vehicles in the painting. And we'll be addressing the concepts of proportion and scale. Two very different concepts, but extremely important when we're painting people and vehicles. So again, this workshop is in two sessions, Saturday, January 23rd, and Saturday, January the 30th, sponsored by the Canadian Society of Painters and Watercolor. So if you're interested in registering for this workshop, just go to the Society website, cspwc.ca, slash education and just follow the instructions there for signing up for the workshop. So we hope to see you in January and wish everybody happy holidays and a very happy new year. Thank you very much.